in the context of the RemoAge project, transnational learning is uh, particularly important because we have a framework within the project uh, for thinking about different ways in which we can use technology to, to support uh, frail older people in different parts of the northern periphery of Europe. Often transnational learning is considered in, in the context of national level policies, but it's particularly useful for the RemoAge project uh, because our partners are very much concerned with the uh, practical details of implementation of different services and to have an exchange of understandings and ideas at that particularly practical level I think it's very helpful from an implement implementation point of view and I think as a result of that that people learn both uh, on, a, on an individual level but also uh, organisations capture that learning and it gets disseminated. For us in Shetland, our project in Shetland, uh, because of the isolation we have in the community, both geographically because we're away from mainland Scotland and also because we're away from actually, I suppose, services and support we'd normally get, the transnational learning aspect of RemoAge has been really important. What it's enabled us to do is to test bed the ideas we have against colleagues across the partnership. Uh, I suppose the reality for that for us is that although we have really great ideas and forward thinking ideas, we don't want to be in a situation where we're thinking of things that a partner agency has already been through. So our transnational learning started probably early in the project with the Western Isles, where we've worked with them on previous projects and we've carried on that work into this project here. Uh, with the Western Isles we actually share a, a equipment and experiences probably on a quarterly basis through the year where we actually go to the West Nails and they come here. That's partly been born out of RemoAge and it's partly also helped us to support RemoAge I think with the technology we use and the processes we go through but also really accessing the, the wealth of really information and experience that we don't have and we can't access within our own community because it just isn't here. Conferences like today gives us the opportunity to share that experience and hear that other people are using medication dispensers or iPads and they can hear what we've got to share and that really is the, the catalyst for further discussions.